Next up, Pepe Pinochet, whenever you're ready. Oh, wonderful. Uh, hi. Hi, Vosh. So, um, I'm ready to have a very yeah, nuanced I, and respectful discussion of my political position. All right. Well, so you make some points where I, I guess I can kind of agree with you. Like, you know, you just let trans people exist and, you know, there's no reason to stop gay people from existing, all that. But it, which I, I largely agree with. Now, when it comes to freedom of association, both on a micro and a macro level, what are, what are your thoughts on that? Freedom of association is a euphemism. You already have the right to associate with whom you choose. What it really means is, yeah. do I have the right to ban certain races or ethnicities or nationalities of people from occupying certain cities, states, Bingo. countries? Uh, so you're a coward for using the euphemism. Uh, what you should have asked me is, how do you feel about the construction of an ethnostate? To which my obvious answer is no. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Well, no, I'm, I don't. I don't really think of in terms of ethnostates. So, so, like for example, a country like Belarus, almost completely fucking white now if they only wanted their people to continue living there and just didn't let in immigrants for the most part i don't really see that that being that big of a deal i mean they're not putting people in camps or you know rounding people up by the millions and deporting them i mean i i would say there's that kind of ethno state i'm i'm fine with um, there can be legitimate even, economic reasons to curtail immigration under some circumstances, though generally speaking, immigration tends to be a pretty positive force for the countries people are immigrating to, especially in a country of Belarus, which, as I understand it, has the GDP of one turnip sitting on a pedestal. Oh, you know, sure. They could benefit from the uh, from the labor from the labor they they get brought in. So, uh, you know, if the reason uh, immigration is being curtailed is because there's some sincere like economic justification or like during COVID, like closing the borders, you know, stuff like that. Okay. But if it's like the idea of keeping some kind of racially homogenous population, I think that's extremely gay and cringe. Well, can you tell me what is necessarily wrong with it? If that's what they choose and they choose to live with the economic consequences, why, what are, they're not necessarily hurting anybody. They're hurting people. Absolutely. Because they're denying people Ow. the opportunity to travel freely. We're born on one. It's not earth. their country. It doesn't, I don't, I don't care. You're talking to a socialist. I don't care. The country is. Countries are lines drawn on maps to describe yeah. political jurisdiction. We are born oh. to one earth. The idea that because of a person's mm. skin tone, they should be disallowed from going around the world, that there are parts of the world, people and places they may never see, restaurants they may never get fat at just because of their skin tone, it's an abomination to me. And I'll need a better justification than because the home population is racist, because I've never considered that a particularly good argument for anything. Oh, sure. Uh, well, I mean, just because if you value uh, what is, you know, the collective identity of both your ethnic group and the values of that ethnic group, and you just don't want there to be any kind of... Um, ethnic tension and you don't want the the culture to change um culture will always you know, change and ethnic yes it tension... always changes i knew you were going to say that oh but, okay you caught oh, me there but, but, ethnic but of tension... course that's going to definitely help that's definitely going to bring upon change you can't have immigrants into a country without them causing some kind of change i think even you know that well if change is inevitable then i don't see any reason to avoid it American culture has been enriched tremendously through the presence of our non-white brethren. In fact, American culture is almost entirely oh. defined by them. Um, so I don't, you know, from an American perspective, I have a very positive attitude towards the cultural changes associated with immigration. Ethnic tension as well. There are no countries in the world right now that don't have ethnic tension. That's the problem mm. with tribalism. Even if you don't have people of different races in an area, people will find something else to get out over. You know, it'll be different ethnic groups or sub-ethnic groups. Ethnicity and yep. race are both infinitely divisible. You know, if you want to get particular about it, you can find incredibly microscopic deviations in the social and genealogical timelines of any set of groups. So I, I just, I don't think you can avoid conflict. And my, my, my way of arguing for this is that like Belarus is not a great country. Look at the countries the world around that are ethnically close to homogenous they suck the coolest countries on earth the ones that have the greatest freedoms the coolest restaurants the sweetest babes are of course democracies uh that have multi-ethnic cultural contributions uh mm. we're living it up and part of that i think is just because an open attitude a humanitarian attitude towards immigration mm -hmm. and people's rights is just one that begets better culture Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I actually agree. I think we were incredibly culturally enriched, um, you know, throughout the particularly 1800s, 1900s, early 20th century, uh, you know, by the, the 
Irish, Italians, the Polish, the German. That's the that's the kind of cultural enrichment I'm perfectly fine with. Um, really, I, I would say eh, not so much as of you know post 1965. No, nah, not nah, not at all. But we're okay with the tens of millions of black people that we brought in. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say we're okay with them, to be honest, but, you know, they're here. They're making, they've made the most substantial and disproportionate cultural contributions. Whether you're talking about American food, American music, they have? American tel- Oh, yeah. No way. Uh, well, that- of course. Yeah, I mean, they're good at basketball and, and, and rapping. And, of course, you know, if, when oh, it comes wait, to hold, blues, hold the, your horses. the blues and rock and roll. Wait, yeah, okay. wait. Oh, just minor things like the blues, jazz, rock and roll, and hip-hop. You know, just only the past century of popular music uh, the mm-hmm. world around, you know. Uh, let's not let's not delegitimize that. Not to mention some of the best food in the states, by the way. You go down to uh, to Louisiana or New Orleans or whatever, you're going to have yourself a um, a wacky good time. So I, I guess so. Okay, try to try to quantify it for me. Like, what's the issue? What's the issue with non-whites? Oh well, I mean, I, I don't I don't want to just say non-whites. I mean, of course, I would say probably the biggest the biggest pro- racial or eth- I'll actually use the word racial tension that we have is going to be mainly with the African Americans and they have contributed a lot. I mean, they, they have phenomenal, um, you know, violent crime rates and murder rates. I love it. Um, Do they? but you know, and just overall dysfunction and, and oh, on average, on. wait, 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 come course- on. Oh, wait, hold on, okay, hold okay. on, wait, hold on, hold your horses. Okay. We'll, we'll take your racism apart one at a time. I love the IQ discussions with people who I know I could, um, bat heads against and reduce theirs to a soup like homogenate all right Major. so first of all with regards to violent crime rates uh a product of the war on drugs not hard to see either you can look at the change in uh, rates of violent crime committed by different racial and ethnic groups and it's pretty clear that in line with the fact that the war on drugs was essentially a way for nixon to deliberately target the hippies and black people the economic conditions created by the war on drugs then led naturally uh to a sort of gang arms race in the inner city inner cities which were predominantly populated of course by black people because uh, white people had fled after the uh, factory jobs dried up in many of these areas, which is why the Rust Belt has so many of the problems that it does today. Of course, if you look at it on a state-by-state level, actually, it's the red states that have higher rates of firearm homicide per capita than the blue states, despite blue states generally having larger cities, which kind of pulls you away from the whole black crime narrative and makes you think it might have something to do with uh, economic inequality, which is something that we have made an effort to exacerbate in the black population for about as long as they've been here. First through slavery, then through Jim Crow laws, through redlining, and through, well, through a lot of stuff, part of which being the drug war. As to the IQ argument, well, position, I guess, that you laid forward, um, all of the available evidence we have, while not determinative, seems to indicate that the IQ difference between black and white people is pretty much entirely environmental. We haven't closed the gap yet, but it is closing year after year after year. It must be difficult, you know, to be one of those uh, uh, genetics IQ types, you know, when every time the uh, average IQ between black and white people is measured, it's part of a broader trend that closes the gap. And then you have stuff like the Flynn effect, where IQ is so obviously determined by environment that it's difficult to explain the extent to which genetics even come into play. Then you have all those studies that lie about the definition of heritability, hoping that people will be tricked by it, you know? Heritability, like uh, if you've got a rich daddy... Well, I, I know what heritability is. Heritable. Yeah, well then why do the studies in fucking Substack articles on racial IQ differences keep misusing it? Because they think that people mm-hmm. reading them are going to fall for it. Heritability doesn't refer to genetics, it just refers to heritability. So... No, anyway. I agree. You know, I catch people d- making that mistake all the time. Now you ended white up going people, over a lot. Because now, of your low IQs, mm-hmm. your tiny oh, fucking oh, pea brain oh, yeah, white okay, IQs keep low misunderstanding heritability. You know, I've Amazing. never met a black person who misunderstood is. heritability. Heritability heritability is basically the the difference between a population, the variance, for example, with something like IQ, that variance can be explained that will they will say that that will be due to like heritability it has nothing to do with oh it's 49 percent genetic i.e uh your your genes i understand the two are completely different things now first of all when thank it comes you for to IQ, rising I'm above not, the average intelligence it, of your white compatriots now i am not making the point that um it, well i will kind of push back i mean there's uh there i would say there's actually more 
evidence that would point towards there being a biological reason why there might be an IQ disparity. But I do believe that there are environmental ones. Which one weighs more? I don't know. I don't care. At the end, now, at the end of the day, it doesn't now, matter. But, but hold no, on, no, no, hold no, wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait, wait, hold on. See, we, we, we now defer to the inherent imbalance of an AMA. I love to hear people pontificate over how they've suddenly solved the racism uh, question or whatever. But you were talking about it. why we shouldn't let these folks into the country. Okay. Now well, I want to be are already in the country. Yeah, but you were talking about post 1965. Uh, uh, um, oh, sure. Yeah. So but I was talking about the IQ and criminality of blacks, which so are if, not immigrants. They so, actually can tie their ancestry to the United States further back than most white people can. I don't care about ancestry. So, so look, we'll story. just let's just shorten this because I've done these arguments a couple of times. OK, there's no evidence to indicate that the criminality or the IQ difference is genetic. Literally none, because if there was, then it would have already been touted out and screamed from the mountaintops mm -hmm. by every alt writer online. And secondly, even if all those things were genetic, I would still want them in my country. Um, I am a amazing. Blue but you still, blue that, still does not, that still does not dismiss the fact that they have far higher violent crime rates and lower IQs. How they got lower so IQs? Poor people. Fine. Should we you just kick all, all the poor people out? But they have not closed the gap in over 30 fucking years. It's but, oh, that's, cr that's crazy. The, the legacy of being a second class citizen hasn't erased in 30 years. That's insane. May, I, I, frankly, I'm surprised they didn't get over it in five. Yeah, the, the issue I have is that, you know, we waste our time arguing over here. And by the way, like, there's a reason why geneticists are overwhelmingly left-leaning. Every e educated discipline generally is. You know, things keep panning out in our favor when it comes to explanations for these phenomena. Nah, really. But no, they really do. Trust me. I've no, gone, even no, Ayer, I've even gone even over Ayer, the data. He's a lefty. Who's, who's over what he, he, he's a lefty. But even he's said, well... The fact that we see that we know that IQs are, are di vary between be, between individuals. When you see a group disparity, you cannot rule out that there is some kind of a genetic cause. Of course, in he's a researcher. And I don't even care which one is the fucking wait, cause. Is wait is that is that is that what you're holding on to that he can't rule it no, out? He's no. a researcher. Of course, he can't rule it out. You could never rule of something not. out. Okay, well that I no, get. Well, you're upon giving, this you're pillar of evidence, viable claim. It's, it would be an unfalsifiable claim for me to say, oh, no, it's definitely more genetics, bro. I can't okay. fucking prove that. So then, like you can't so then, prove it's mostly environment. Well, no, I can't. I I can, wait, 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 hold, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, I can prove it's mostly environment because all of the accumulated data on racial IQ differences has closed so much over so much time and between different populations all over the world through environmental changes. If you read stuff that, that, that was written. That is the biggest copy Nope. If you read stuff that was written on the Irish. Back in the 1940s, there was a British um, uh, uh, um, uh, neurological researcher who wrote on the average IQ of the Irish back in those days to find that the average Irish was, not a surprise, fucking retarded. The IQ was well, something... Well, they are the, fucking retarded. That's true. Irish. But you know what they are, in addition to being retarded? Higher than 100 average IQ today. But back in the 50s and 40s, it was something closer to 67. So what changed? Well, it turns out environment changed. We see all these examples the world over of environment making the difference. How many examples have we found proving that genetics were the cause of an unbridgeable gap with environmental uh, factors? At this point, none. So it's a waste of a discussion because we don't have the evidence to make a conclusive determination. And every time new evidence comes out, it supports me. So let's let's talk about what you actually care about, which is that you're afraid of non-white people. Like, I know where these conversations no. usually go. No, no. Yeah. So let's talk about where this conversation sure. actually goes. Who hurt you? Why? And what can we do about it? Oh, no, 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 no. What's no, the so issue? I, I love I love Latino women. They I, Seriously. And so and, and like I grew up in the Southwest, like you know, around a lot of Mexican-Americans. I, I don't it's not it's more or less just that when I see demographic change it starts to become political and you so basically political parties start to be parties for different demographics i, pay, I it's hate starting it when to change a little bit with mexican americans but that's obviously going to be something that i think is is not good for america I'm i agree that nobody made race political before 1965 in the heart seller act i completely agree what do you oh, what do you bullshit. mean people oh, what do you mean Dude, okay. people 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 make every demographic difference political man woman Coastal, rural America, rural city, uh, uh, flyover states versus like San Francisco, New York or whatever. People are going to make differences between people, political issues, no matter what. You're going to see that no matter where you go, including Belarus. Well, actually, Belarus is a dictatorship. So actually, it doesn't they don't really have to make an issue of it because nobody's vying for votes. 
Well, no, even in Belarus. I mean, Putin over in Russia is constantly scapegoating well, minority Belarus. populations. I don't care about these people. I just use it as an example because it's really white. It was a but hypothetical. There are, I, I there's going to be about that partisan infighting in any country, no matter what. It sure. doesn't matter whether or not it's all white people or whatever. So it seems like oh, this, like, okay. well, why are we racist? You know, oh, well, to avoid X. Well, X is here anyway. Okay, well, to avoid Y. Well, Y is here anyway. What's wrong with letting the homies in? Uh, letting the other home because they're not my homies. They're not even like one of me. What the fuck? They're my homies. Uh, okay. Well, I don't think they're fat and bisexual. They're generally brown and, and push around lawnmowers. Oh, no, there the are. Fa well, about. hold on. I've lit I've had sex with fat and bisexual uh, Latin women. Okay. All right. They're all over the place. Fat bisexuals are in Belarus as well. Also, you want to go gut to gut, lad? I lost a lot of weight in 2021. I see those really? photos Dude. you guys are spam posting over in the politics AMA server, and you know what? <laughs> I've lost a lot of weight, been going on a lot of walks, out here fighting Nazism with my brisk morning walk, okay? I'm gonna go Amazing. gut to gut and Do you crunch consider you me people. A Nazi? You consider me a Nazi? You haven't said anything about the Jews, I just think you're a white ethnostater, I don't know if you're a Nazi yet. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not, no, I'm not, yeah. I wouldn't say, I'm a little racist, but I'm not, like, no, I'm not. A little. You're okay. pretty, you're the pretty, you're pretty racist. Being, why, why lie? I, I think that, I, I think that it's fine to have an exclusive place but I'm not talking about like fucking genociding people or rounding people yeah, okay, up. Okay, but, but the pro okay, but the problem is, again, like this is the issue that I have with you people. You're retarded. You can't build a civilization off of ethnic exclusion and then go like, okay, but like don't do any genocide though. Find me, find me, how many times has that worked, you know? England was pretty much all white people back in the 1600s. Did they keep that shit in their borders? No. America, apart from the slaves that they owned, were, uh, was, was pretty much all white by our current definition up through like the, uh, the mid 20th century. Did that keep us from doing a racism? No. As long as people believe it's okay to discriminate against one another based on their ethnicity or race, they're going to do monstrous shit. So you are hand-wringing over something that you haven't even described the consequences of yet. Like, what's the issue to, to promote an ideology that's been responsible for more death than, like, virtually any other? No, with the possible exception of Lysenkoism. Well, no. So the only thing I would advocate for is, first of all, no more affirmative action. And uh, you, you know, us, I would say as a culture, I'd like to see us not use our race as a fucking excuse for why we have, you know, certain outcomes that we have. Now, of course, like you're there doing are that, you're using uh, race to, 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 oh, scapegoat. Okay. wait, you're, wait, you're doing that in this convo. You're, you're saying like the reason America has these internal tensions is because of, um, the existence of people of different race, races. Well, that, that's your thing. No, they're just small part. I, I think like, you know, liberal nimbyist, you know, that live in places like San Francisco, New York are, are kind of like, the people I hate the most in this country, like oh, I good, actually don't like them. So I, I mean, those those are who I would say I actually eh, they they make my stomach turn. Black people don't. Um, I'm, I'm happy so to hear I, that. Why can't we all just live? Why can't we all just live and let live? Why can't why can't people? I do live of... and let live. I don't fuck with them. I don't like. I don't. I'm not gonna go out of. I wouldn't like put. I wouldn't harm anybody or tell somebody you you know you can't do that or. or insult them. I'm I'm not that type of a person. So. But you you want to keep them from entering the country. No, I didn't say that. Well, I think that our immigration, I, I do think that we we became multi-ethnic in terms of, well, I should say racial, a little too quickly. I think it's something that would have inevitably happened in, in a place like the United States of America. But other than that, I mean, I don't, I'm not one of those but, people who thinks you should, who's calling for an ethno state anywhere. But, but I do believe in freedom of association, fine. which would be excluded. But this is the problem. Everything is fine. Everything going wrong with this country is rooted in, in fucking capitalism. Like, the, the nimbyism you referred to, the economic disparities, the, the deprivation of the worker's state, the fact that politicians only, like, vaguely gesture at cultural issues and avoid talking about real economic... Like, this is... Like, they, they could... You, we could be 100% white and they would still do this. I just don't get what the deal is. Like, it doesn't seem to be hurting anyone. You know? Like, it, it, like I always get this, like, you know... Ah, uh, yeah, with the black people with their, you know, their higher crime rate, their IQs or whatever. Well, you know who else has low IQ and higher crime rate? Poor people in this country. Poor people who would continue to exist in this country if there were no black people. And poor people are more likely to commit crime. And poor people are more likely to have a lower IQ. And those poor people tend to be black nowadays because we've displaced economic inequality onto certain racial archetypes because it's easier to justify racism when you're doing it through economics by proxy. 
But none of this gets <laughs> solved when black people are gone. You're just falling for the mantra of the 20th century robber barons, you know? Oh, all of these issues are exacerbated by the, 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 the blacks coming into our cities, you know? They come to take our jobs. They exacerbate the issues. We could focus on the real issues where only we not without them. But capitalism persists in their presence or absence. We must unite against the greater threat. We should probably move on. This, this, I think this yeah. has expanded beyond the, right. the, the, the scope of an AMA. I enjoyed the conversation, though. I appreciate you coming on to talk yeah. to me. You too. Thank you, Pepe. No. I love you.